We're looking at homework from section 2.1. This is question number 18. The accompanying data set lists the number of children of world leaders. Use the data to construct a frequency distribution using six classes and to create a frequency polygon. Describe any patterns. So we have an array with 43 values in it. We first will find the class width. The class width is the maximum minus the minimum divided by the number of classes, which is going to equal the maximum is 16, the minimum is 0. 16 minus 0 is 16 divided by 6, which is going to be 2.666 repeating. Remember, we always round up class width to the next highest integer, so the class width here is 3. We're going to use that class width to help us construct our frequency distribution. Remember that when we're finding a frequency distribution, our first class always starts at the minimum value. So the minimum value here is 0. Then we add the class width to get the next lower class limit. 0 plus 3 is 3. We add 3 again and get 6, then 9, 12, and 15. So those are our lower class limits. Remember, each upper class limit is one less than the next lower class limit, and that the upper class limits are also different by the class width. So the first upper class limit is one less than three, which is two. We add the class width of three here and get five, and we continue to add three to get eight, then 11, 14, and 17. So now we have our defined classes and we're ready to build our frequency distribution. So we're going to go data entry by data entry for these 43 values and put a tally mark to mark each one. So we'll start with 4, 0, 0, 0, 1, 16, 0, 0, 5, 5, 2, 0, 3, 3, 1, 3, 6, 0, 0, 2, 2, 0, 3, 7, 6, 2, 2, 4, 3, 1, 2, 3, 8, 14, 1, 9, 1, 11, 9, 11, 10, 8, 14. And that's our last data value. So we can go ahead and count up each one of those tally column values. For the class from 0 to 2, that's a frequency of 20. From 3 to 5, it's 10. From 6 to 8, it's 5. And from 9 to 11, it's also 5. From 12 to 14, it's 2. And from 15 to 17, it's 1. So that is our frequency distribution. Now we want to construct a frequency polygon. So let's keep our frequency distribution in the upper right hand corner. And we have some choices for the frequency polygon. So we want to know which one of these best suits the graph. The very first class should be the highest point on the graph. So that eliminates graph C because its second point is the highest, not the first. So immediately graph C is out. Then what we should also notice about these frequencies is that they never go back up. So it goes 20, 10, 5, 5, 2, 1. That's a downward motion or to the side, but never back up. So that eliminates choice B because you can see that it goes up, down, and then up again. This graph never goes up in frequency after the first class. And then it also eliminates graph D because 
it goes up, down, and then slightly up again. So our correct answer here is choice A. So that's our frequency polygon. So describe any patterns and choose the correct answer below. Does the data show that most of the 43 world leaders had more than 17 children? All of our data is for having 17 or fewer children, so the data does not show that. Does the data show that most of the 43 world leaders had fewer than two children? Well, fewer than two children would be our first class, which would have 20 in it, and 20 is not most of 43, so choice B is not the answer. Does the data show that most of the 43 world leaders had more than 11 children? Well, more than 11 children on our chart would be between 12 and 17, and that was only three of these world leaders that fell into that category, which is definitely not most of them. So the correct answer here is choice D. The data show that most of the 43 world leaders had fewer than six children. Fewer than six children would be from zero to five, which is 30 out of the 43. And that's your answer.